Hi everyone, um, it's Amber with Camming's Let's Plays and hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today we're going to be doing some more Disney Dreamlight Valley for the PS5 and I believe this is on the Switch as well um, and PC. I'm not sure if, I'm guessing it's on Xbox but I just don't know. Alright, so we're going to uh, go back from where we started. I know there's some quests that need for us to progress more with Simba the, the Lion. So we're going to try to hang out with Simba a little bit today and just do some random stuff. Um, great to see you guys in the chat. Hi Juan. Hi Jacob. Hello Jcat. How's it going? Hi Game Kid. Hello William and Juan and um, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, hope everyone's having a great day today. Alright, so we're going to try to find Simba. Uh, I don't know where he could possibly be. Okay. So we're on our way to getting a little bit more uh, whisk, mist light, for but we really need about 10,000 of it to open the next area. We only have uh, 1,000. We do need about 6,000 to upgrade our, um, our next upgrade, which I believe we did the hourglass. Okay, yep, we did the hourglass, so we still need to upgrade our... Uh, we need about 3,000 mist to upgrade our pickaxe and a 3,000 to upgrade that. All right, so yeah, and of course we need about 3,000 for that. We also, uh, if we have 10,000 mist, we can upgrade our table. Um, let's see, we don't have any current quests. All right. Shows that and currently we can make a few weird items of furniture from that. But anyways, um, we're going to go try to find... Um, okay, well actually Simba's coming right towards us, so that's good. Um, hey K-Wing. Um, Alright, so let's ask Simba what the next quest is, I guess. Uh, you were going to ask Scar about my past. Just be careful about him, okay? So long. All right. Hey there. It's great to see you, says Simba. Um, let's hang out. Sure. I always like uh -huh. hanging out with you, says Simba. Okay, so now we're hanging out with Simba. And I will kind of show you guys this shirt that I got at Scrooge's place. Um, basically, it is like, um, I think it was like 10... It was like at least 6,000 gold or something, I think. It was kind of expensive. And it's like a retro Mickey Mouse shirt. So I guess it was worth it, but, you know, it was a lot of money. Um, so yeah. Alright, there we go. We're just somewhat, we somewhat changed our outfit. I don't know if it really counts as changing. Oh, well, this doesn't really matter. All right, so I know one thing we do need to do is we need to go to the other area and we need to go to Scar's uh, place, which would be the Sunlit Plateau is where Scar lives. All right. Hi, Timmy. Hi, I'm Juan. Hello, Jacob. Hi, Marissa. Hello, uh, Jcat. Hi, GameCube. Hi, JS. Hi, everyone. Alright, so I believe there are a few quests we need to do by going to see Scar. So we might as well go and check it out. So we'll talk to Scar. Oh, okay, we to into you. What do you want now? Hmm, Simba wants to remember more about his past in the valley. You were mostly protected from the forgetting in your cave. What do you remember, Scar? <laughs> ah, not so much. So much. So much, K-Wing. In fact, that Simba will probably wish I didn't. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. Before the forgetting. Ah, uh, you put Simba in charge of the protecting of Dreamlight Tree. It was a haven for all the scrumptious, ah, uh, fragile creatures around the valley. But then, the night thorns came, and instead of slay staying and doing what he was supposed to, Simba ran away, back to Pride Rock, and the Dreamlight Tree withered. Um... So, you just stood there and let it wither too? 
Well, I would have done something, but you ensured that I couldn't. You don't remember the dreamlike tree seeds that sprout around more trees? Of course, you stopped anyone from ever finding them. It's like you don't trust anyone, not even me. Don't trust anyone? Hmm. These dreamlike seeds must be something special if I felt I had to hide them. Ah, in the mines below the sunlit plateau, you hid them in a very secret room. Let's hope for everyone's sake you managed to find them. Alright, so we are unlocking the quest called the Seed of Memories. Search the sunlit plateau's mines for the entrance. I believe there's also another uh, quest that we were supposed to finish by going into Scar's Cave. Yep, so there's another quest that we were supposed to do for somebody. Monstrously good taste quest for Mike. Cook a roasty monstrous treat using the ingredients Mike suggested. Okay, so we can also finish that quest while we're at it. So let's do Seed of Memory. Alright, hi uh, Game Wing, hi uh, Jacob, hi everyone. Alright, so we got the special ingredient that we needed for Mike's quest, and we started the Sea of Memories, Seed of Memories quest with Scar and um, with um, whoever this guy is. Where is he? I don't know where he went. I thought we were hanging out. Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. Simba. And we can actually see how far we have Simba upgraded here. Uh, potato leek soup, white passion lily, pesto with linguine. Ooh, pesto with linguine sounds delicious. Oh my gosh, that sounds phenomenal. Well, we might, we might as well, um, uh, we might as well try to give Simba some of that stuff to level up. So we basically have too much stuff going on in our valley. So we might have to get rid of some of our crops if we have too many of them. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. So it might actually just, now that I'm here, I think I'm going to make these crops like a little bit less. We're just going to make these crops a little bit smaller. That way we won't. Okay, that orb is super annoying. I hate the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, this is actually going to help a little bit because we just have way too many crops going on here. Okay. Alright, there we go. I guess we missed that last one. Alright, whoops. We accidentally... I accidentally planted a seed here. I don't know what I planted. Ah, uh, well, I guess we'll just, uh, little by little. Alright, so why don't we go and do something fun for Simba. I'm gonna ask him what his favorite stuff was again. What was your favorite stuff again, Simba? Alright, so his favorite stuff was potato leek soup, white passion lily, and pesto with linguine. So I think we can actually look up pesto it's with so linguine. I think that's possibility. Um, 
So we're going to try to look that up. Pesto with linguine. I, and by looking it up, I mean I'm going to look on Google. That's how I'm going to be looking this up. I might actually get rid of some of these crops as well. Like, uh, I think some of them are a little too much going on here. All right, so I know pesto is made out of seeds and herbs. Um, so I wonder how we're actually going to make this pesto with linguine. We're probably going to need wheat. So let's move this up. Recipe. Oh my gosh. Why is it not showing me the recipe? All right, we're going to need garlic, oregano, butter, and wheat. Okay, so let's see if we have all those ingredients. Butter. We're going to go to our herbs. Oops, our herbs. Oregano. Butter, oregano, garlic. Butter, oregano, garlic, and then we're just going to use wheat. Alright, so we got some pesto with linguine. <sighs> Alright, the next thing we're gonna try to make for uh Simba is potato leek soup. So this one is going to be an actually five ingredient recipe. We're going to need leeks to, to start out, which I don't even know if we have any leeks. All right, we do. We do. Leek. And we're going to need a potato. Milk. Um, onion. <sighs> Alright, onion and garlic. Okay, now we have to go to our herbs, which would be where salt is. Okay, garlic. Okay, there we go. So, leek, potato, milk, onion, garlic. Potato, leek, soup. I don't know if we already had that before or not. And then the last thing he wanted was... Um, uh, he wanted a white passion lily. So let's go and try to get a white passion lily for, um, Simba. Why are we crafting one? We don't need to craft one. Ah. All right. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to put that. Okay, so basically none of these will fit in there. Let's try to fit them in here. Alright, so we're going to look for a white passion lily. Let's try to find it if we can. And we only need one of these, so we can actually split them and just make one. Okay, there we go. Alright, and now... Okay, we got our white passion lily. 
All right, now I'm just gonna put the rest of everything in here. Um, let's see, we can put bamboo. Okay, skeleton fish. We got some fish here. That counts as a fish. All right, so we can also make a uh, that one thing that uh, Mike Wazowski wants to make using a hairball in his recipe, which is pretty weird, actually. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I have just way too many, uh, way too many boxes and bins going on here. Running a place like this has got to be a 24-7 job. I feel <laughs> for you, pal. Sully, why are you randomly here? What are you doing, Sully? Oh, we've got, uh, hello. That's, you're very scary. You're very scary. Good job, Sully. Okay. We are uh, filling up here. So I'm going to need a food. I'm going to have to need a food bin here at some point. Okay. Um, well, okay. I've got our tomatoes here. All right, Amber's. I'm just being super obsessive with everything as usual. All right, and I I just decided to put this chest here so I didn't have to actually go in to put my dream light shards I found on the ground. So I think we're pretty good with everything. All right, so we did it. So let's go give um. Let's go give. Simba, all of his stuff that he wanted, giving gifts to Simba. The villagers are depending on you, my friend. So never give up. I can't believe I found Simba. All right. He's alive. Okay. So we're going to give gifts to Simba here. Um, oh, there he is. All right. Simba, I don't want to, like, rip rip those plants out of there. Um, hey there, K-Wing. Uh, okay. So let's give him some of his favorite gifts. He wants a pesto with linguine. So let's give him that. He's excited about that. I really appreciate uh -huh. it. Thanks. Hey there, K-Wing. Let's give him his um, pesto with leeks, or potato and leek soup. And Jack Skellington is standing here super awkwardly. Ah. Wow, that's so thoughtful. Thank you, K-Wing. And now we can give him his um, white passion lily. Which, I don't know why he would want this, but okay. This is great. Thank you. All right, and we leveled him up to level eight, which is awesome. So Simba is now leveled up, and we got this weird door. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we might as well do this next quest, which is helping with uh, Mike. And we need to craft... All right, so we just need to, um, we basically need to uh, make the special dish. I think we do it on the cooking thing. I don't know. Is this what we were supposed to make? All right, gourmet rot dog. Let's make it. Oh. All right, the name is gourmet rotten dog, and the passion lily. Yep, thank you, leader gator. Making gourmet rot dog. Okay, no worries, Game Wing. Sorry, there's a lot going on where you are. Alright, so we made a gourmet rotten dog with clams, milk, wheat, and a hairball. Gross. 
All right, so now what do we do? Let's go see our quests and see what it says. Show the gourmet rot dog to Remy the mouse. Okay, so let's go check that out. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey. hey. Um, well, what are you so happy about? Well, I'm generally a happy guy, but today I'm particularly happy that I don't have fur. Why is that? Because every day I get to sleep in for 30 minutes more than Sully. He gets out of the shower and at least half of an hour of the blow dryer. Plus all the shedding. I made him take vacuuming duty the first day we became roommates. I swear he sheds more in a week than I weigh. Probably. He sheds more in a week than you weigh. Wow. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two... Three, four, five. Um, well. One, two, three, four. If we did this. One, two, three. Yeah, we could actually. We could actually get rid of. And we could actually, um, sell some of this, too. We can make these a little bit smaller. Because I didn't realize every plant you plant takes up memory, so. Um. There we go. So one, two, three, four. So we can just get... Nope. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh, Luke, why did you do that? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now it's not taking up as much memory. Um... We can actually do the same thing here. Then all we have to do is plant some tomatoes over there. And then, um, this won't take up as much memory. Let's see. Also, it'll make things look a little bit more even. I mean, this seems to be how I basically try to make my crops... But this is how I decorate my town, just one thing at a time. Very little by little is how I'm getting my town. I don't have six hours to sit there and try to decorate my town. Okay, alright, so we're going to put tomato seeds in here. Alright, we planted some seeds. Also, the Dreamlight Valley kind of rewards you if you do things every day. So if you sit here for a long time, it doesn't really care. It's like, oh, good for you. You spent 16 hours playing. Nobody cares. So it kind of, it's one of those things where it's like, what did you do today? Like, how are you doing today? Like, the game is just always trying to get you to do stuff every day. All right, one, two, three. All right, so I'm going to try to make this so, oh, wait a second. So how are we going to do this? One, two, three, four. So little by little, I'm taking away things that cause more memory in the game. Every vegetable you plant is going to take up more mem memory. Every item you have, every small decoration <laughs> takes up more memory. Honestly, that's looking a little bit better than it was last time. Uh, we can actually even move these around a little bit. Alright, so actually I can move this a little bit here. Move that there. Yeah, I mean, that's better than nothing. Alright, so that's looking pretty pretty nice there. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's looking good, actually. All right, so where was I going? I completely lost track of everything. We were going to go give it to Remy, so let's go find him. There he is. Can I get a little help All right, there? let's give it to him. Hey, hey K-Wing, are you still helping Mike out with his cologne? Well, we moved on to making tasty treats, Remy, and as the village... Village's culinary expert, I'd love to get your opinion. Hmm, oh wow, what did you make? It's a spin on one of Mike's faves from back home. Gourmet rot dog. Okay! Here, have a bite. He's not gonna like this. He's not gonna like this. Uh, K-Wing, I'm sorry, but this tastes like garbage. Well, is that... I mean, I guess that means Mike will love it then. I gotta say, I'm fascinated by his palate. I'm sure you worked hard on this, and it's no shame to garbage. No shame to garbage, but my family and I ate lots of garbage before I came, became a chef. In fact, I'm, I'm happy that the chapter of my life is done. Fair enough. Why don't you bring it back to Mike? I'm sure he'll enjoy it. Alright, we're gonna bring it back to Mike, and then see if he likes it. There he is. Mike Wazowski. So, so I am I the new superstar, visionary uh -huh. of the valley, or what? Uh, hold your applause while I get ready for my close-up. Uh -huh. Actually, <laughs> Remy didn't the gr didn't like the gourmet rat dog. Uh -huh. What? Sorry, Mike, but I think your tastes are a little too experimental for those folks that live uh -huh. here. Ah, <sighs> it's Ooh. true. That's yeah. always been my curse. Uh -huh. I have the game. Econ, econ, econoclastic, revolutionary. Uh, but I, it gets lonely sometimes when success lifts you up this high. Uh, well, I don't want you to be lonely here. Also, uh, I have an idea. Why don't you go share the gourmet rat dog with Sully? I bet he'd love a taste of home. <laughs> All right, gourmet rat dog. Great idea, K-Wing. I'll go find him right now. He's right next to you. Hey, Mikey. I smelled something incredible from across the valley. What you got there? Uh, ah, feast your eyes and stomach on a dill dill del delicacy. My, uh, uh, Sully, uh, a classic rot dog. Oh, wow. This takes me back, Mike. Uh, so second semester, remember the eating contest? Hey, if those rot dogs tasted like these, I might have done even better. Uh, maybe I'll share the recipe with M uh, Monsters University next time I visit. Very cute. Sorry, Merlin, I had to cut you off. <laughs> so, how are, how are you feeling about the valley now? Mm. Well, a lot of folks here have some very strange tastes. I know it can't be fun when other people don't share your interests, but at least you got to catch up with your best bud and share a nostalgia-inducing treat. And even if the villagers don't like the same food as you, they're still super happy that you found your way back here. Aw, shucks. You're choking me up here, K-Wing. How am I supposed to keep my air of cool sophistication when you're making me misty-eyed here? Right, I forgot. You're a really cool guy, Mike. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Don't you forget it. And one last thing, K-Wing. Ah, uh, yes, Mike. Mm. Even if your taste is questionable, you're <laughs> still the best. Now I call Monstrously good life. taste quest complete. Oh, uh, well, uh, no, uh, I was streaming earlier. And, uh, well, uh, tell your friends and uh, your enemies. Uh, and uh, drive home safe. Uh, I'll walk home, whatever, I, I gotta go, bye. Oh, there it is, ha, hi folks, uh, well that's it. <sighs> yeah, we can name it Mike Has Good Taste, that sounds good, later Gator. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Tim Moeller. Hi. Um, oh, thank you for posting it on there, uh, Tim. I appreciate that. I'll definitely be able to check it out. 
yeah, sorry for such a long explanation last stream. I, I just, I've had a lot of uh, problems with um, online interactions. Thank you for understanding. I kind of went overboard explaining that. Um, thank you, Tim. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Yeah, I don't generally uh, do DMs, so, um, but I, I have a hard time explaining that to people because they, I don't know, it's like, I don't want to seem, like, mean, but people just don't understand that, so, that I, I can't really do them. Um, it's also hard for me because, um, I do do, I do, like, send people a game, like, if they win a game, I will send it that way. Um, but, yeah, I just do it for business, if that makes sense. Alright, um, appreciate that, Tim. I'll get to that when I can. Thank you so much. And uh, when I'm posting stuff, I'll be able to see it when I'm posting the, the streams and everything. I appreciate that so much, Tim. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate you a lot. Thank you for your help, Tim. Thank you. Alright, guys, so when, since we're on the, uh, let's do something important that I that I think we need to do. Seeing Tim in his weird jacket over his face is making me realize something. And what I am realizing is that uh, we can't let Tim, or sorry, not Tim. Darn it. Sorry, Tim. We cannot let Mike wear this jacket anymore this way. We cannot let Mike wear this jacket anymore because it's just, it just looks bad on him. I'm not trying to be rude, but like, we got this in the Monster Star, um, the, uh, Star, whatever you call it, Star Path, and it took us a long time to get it, but honestly, Mike looks terrible with that jacket over his face. <sighs> I, I can't look at him anymore. We saw him with the jacket. He, it looked cute. We can put it on him if we feel like it, but he just looks so much better without it. Like... I can imagine, like, I wish they would, he needs, like, a Christmas outfit, like, a little hat or something, like, I feel like Mike could do well. See, the jacket looks good on Sully because Sully has a neck and arms. It just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good on Mike. Um, so let's actually try our, there is something we can get on our star path. Let's see if we can do this. Star path, um, all right, so... There's a lot of things we can do. I don't know if I really want this coffee maker. It's interesting. It's it's tempting to get. It's definitely tempting to get. This is kind of interesting. Um, some of the 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 stuff is kind of interesting. Uh, so we have forty, and this is going to be over in a cup in eight days. The star pass is going to be over, so I won't be able to get these cute little plushies or anything. I think we should get this monster snack thing. I think that would be cute. And we can put this, like, right... Why don't we put this right outside their house? Like, so they can actually get, like, sodas and stuff they like next to their house. So there's their Monsters University um, house. There's the sodas they can get from... Uh, that's their snack bar from, um, from Monsters, Inc. or Monsters University. And, um, then we'll, we'll put a tree next to it. Why not? I think we could use a tree here. I don't really know what kind of tree. This is kind of nice. It's a nice tree. So, yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's the Monsters university um place and if you guys haven't seen this is where you get mike and sully you get this cool inside area here and honestly it looks pretty awesome um there's uh randall mike and sully there is some like motivational uh, that's a reference to the movie the winds of change um and you've got some monster pictures on the wall and yeah and their books and their two desks which is pretty cute so 
yeah, it looks, it's pretty, very cute. So, honestly, their room is looking pretty cute. So, I'm, I'm satisfied. If the thing, you know, if, if we get to the end of the week and I didn't get the rest of the plushies on that nice. star path, at least I got Sully his jacket, I got Mike his jacket, and I got this cool vending machine. I think that's, I don't know if they'll ever sell this again in Disney Dreamlight Valley, but I think that's looking really cool. Also, the fact that it's so big... I thought this was going to be very small, but look, it's really big, so it's like monster size. Alright, so um, why don't we go and uh, I guess we can try to... The number of friendly residents in this valley um, I guess we can try to go to the um, the mines and try to work on uh, the, the Sunlit Plateau's mines for... Mine for hidden uh, stuff in the mines. Let's see... What this one? Search inside the sunlit plateau. Whoops. Okay, so we're trying to do this Simba quest. Okay, so we're gonna try to search for something that's hidden. Yeah, and, and I know I know you guys are just sending me stuff and messages because you guys are, you know, um, because you guys are nice and just wanted to say hi to me. I know that, and I, I appreciate that um, very much. Thank you for making that beautiful, uh, working on that beautiful um, thing. I, I really do, I really do like seeing everything you guys are doing, and I really like feeling connected to you guys and gals. Um, I really appreciate that. Sometimes I just get overwhelmed because I just, um, you guys are really nice, but I, I have to, I have to interact with people that aren't so nice as part of my job and it's, it's, stre it stresses me out. So, um, yeah. All right. So I'm trying to get rid of some of the crops so that they're not as many. Um, but we'll, we'll fix the rest of them later. So that's a little bit better. Eventually we'll, uh, oh yeah, we were gonna, um, well, eventually we'll fix that. We'll try to make these less. So we'll make smaller amounts. So every, like everything you have planted, every object you have on the, that's sitting around, um, is going to take up memory. So... Just have to remember that, that the game kind of is overflowing, like, it's constantly kind of, like, overfilled with memory. Um, what, it, there's a lot to it, I mean, then they have the entire extra expansion pack, the Eternity Isle. You have so many different ways you can, um, so many different things you can put on Dreamlight Valley. You can plant crops, you can place trees. So there's so much memory that the game can use. And that's why it's also good to just save once in a while. Alright, so I feel a little bit better knowing that Mike is without his weird jacket on his face because... I I don't know, I just don't like how the... It's kind of funny and cute to see his jacket on his face, but it... It's like when you're a little kid and you put a jacket over your face, um... You know... Uh, what is this? I've never seen this before. Is this a new area? The pages are covered with lines of almost illegible scrawl. From the drawings you get, look about the plants. It looks like I noticed some sort of... Uh, it looks like a notice of some sort. Maybe someone can help you make sense of it all. A complicated tangle of tubes and beakers takes up most of the table. You'll notice there is still some room in two places to add something else. You're not sure what. Alright, so now we can... I guess we can go talk to Merlin now, of all things. 
Okay, so I've never done this quest yet. Um, I guess I'm progressing some of the story that I have never done. Now that I'm here, I might as well I might as well mine a little bit, and then we'll we'll leave and we'll talk to Merlin. There's a memory orb. Oh my gosh. We can see a memory of to uh, one of the Toy Story movies. Wow, it takes a long time to unlock all those memories. I feel like you could really uh, play this game every day and still have tons of things to do in it because there's so much content going on in this game every day. Which is a good thing. So I might be doing a different game I haven't done in a long time tomorrow. Another um, like uh, farm sim game. So yeah. Um, I might be trying that out again. And uh, I think I haven't played it in a long time so I might have to start all over. But that's alright. Um, I guess I can't go over there. Okay, so I guess we'll just go back. We'll go back home. And we'll try to talk to Merlin if we can. Um, just doing this. Okay. Alright, 416. Alright, not bad. Oh, I'm just doing the Simba quest. It's not part of the story. Okay. Thank you, uh, Lady Gator. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm just wandering over here. I said I was going back, but I'm not. I lied. I'm not going back. All right, so we came out of here. I guess we'll collect some of the stuff that's sitting around here. Might as well. It's like, well, I might as well grab this while I'm here. <clears throat> Alright, so now we can go find Merlin. Alright, Simba, let's go. Play. Have you seen my pal Donald? Oh, uh, have not seen it. Have not seen him, Goofy. Actually, we can sell some of our extra vegetables right here since we picked some of them. Oh, this is where they sell cotton. Okay, so let's sell. I might as well sell all my oregano. Um, I just have one piece of dirt, so I'll sell that. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna sell my piece of. No, well, yeah, I will. I will sell that. Um, okay, I'm gonna sell all of these tomatoes, because I already have tomatoes, and we'll sell all this wheat, corn, um, oh, wait till I tell Slink about this place, he's not gonna believe me! And carrots and... Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Oh, I guess we'll sell... Um... Yeah, that looks good to me. Alright, so at least we filled up... We got our pockets a little bit better. Oh. And we got a little bit of money then, too. So we have about 2,000 coins. Um, which is good. It's better than nothing. So let's go see if we can find Merlin. Uh, progress this quest. Um, looks like Moana and, or Maui and uh, I keep forgetting Maui's over here. It's Maui's house. Okay, Maui and Ariel are hanging out. 
And I still haven't purchased that star path that I can get Ariel's, uh, Ursula's, um, like, human form and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see if we can find Merlin. He was wandering around. There he is. He's right over here in the Forgotten Lands. So we're, we're over here. So let's go, go to the Forgotten Lands and see if we can go find Merlin. Okay, I'm doing a Simba quest. Okay. Alright, well, looks like Eve has a quest, but I'm just gonna forget that at the moment. Have you ever heard Ariel sing? Nope, I have not. Oh, wow, these thorns are giving me money, which is nice. Okay, Merlin, what's up? Hello. Oh, K-Wing, you look like you're in a pursuit of knowledge. How may I be of assistance? Um, I found this room below the Sunlit Plateau with seeds in it, and... Oh, the herbalist room! What marvelous news! Why, I'd... I'd forgotten all about it! Hmm, I want to get something called the Dreamlight Tree Seed for Simba, but it's stuck in a machine inside that room. Uh, I need your help, please, Merlin. Oh, not to worry, K-Wing. Ah. The room you stumbled upon is a fascinating part of our history in the past. And you used it to do experiments regarding the family's Working flora. Thunder? You hid the room to keep the experiments safe from the prying eyes of those who might want to use them for nefarious purposes like Scar. You wanted to create a haven for the critters, and you chose Simba to watch over it. <laughs> Using a cutting of the tree above the well in the plaza, and after a lot of trial and error, you managed to create a new plant called the Dreamlight Tree. Ah, uh, that's all well and good, but how does this help us with the problem? Ah, <laughs> oh, the impatience of youth. I was just about to explain that part. Yeah, now, right now, the Dreamlight Tree seed is, well, let's say it's slumbering. You'll need to awaken it so you can be planted anew. Um, if if I recall, you first gave life to it with the two potions. The potion of growth and the potion of dust. Ah, you'll need blueberries and dream shards for the potion of growth, orange marsh milk, and night shards for the potion of dust, and an empty vial for each potion. Once you've prepared them, just place them in the proper spot in the herbalist room and the machine should do the rest. I happen to be the world's most powerful... Alright, well, we'll see if we have those ingredients. I don't know if we do. We will, we, sh we shall see. You know what? One thing, my pet peeve of this game, I really wish these lights would be on all the time. Because it's super annoying when you come in here. It's all dark. You have to go turn all the lights on. Um, and I don't like that in real life, where I have to go into a dark room and turn it on, but... Super annoying. I don't... I kind of wish the lights were always kind of glowing so that they would automatically come on when it's dark, but whatever. It's alright. Hi, I'm Eric. Thank you. Alright, so let's actually put all of our stuff that we had away. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. So much stuff we collected. Alrighty then, um, so this is our makeshift place to put jewels, and then we can just, when we get a chance, we can put them in our house. Oh, actually that's sugarcane, not vanilla. Eh, that's fine. Sugarcane can go in that, that category, that's fine. Okay. Alright, we got spinach here. Okay, and then I've got um, flowers to put in here. Hello, you little kid. Over here. Okay, Vanellope, when you stop being loud, then I'll come over and say hello to you. Just don't be so loud, Vanellope. Try not being so loud, maybe. Try doing what you're doing, but less loud. All right, so potion of growth. Let's see if we can make that. 
Okay, so Potion of Growth. Looks like we need three Dream Shards, an empty vial, and six blueberries. Potion of Growth. There we go, and Potion of Dust. We need three Night Shards, three Milkweed, and one Empty Vial. So we had all that. We had Night Shards and Dream Shards. Awesome. And I think we made everything now. Alright, so it's saying all we have to do is go back... Oh, sorry, Simba. All we have to do is go back over there and basically place this stuff there. Oh, you saw the partial, that they had a partial eclipse. Awesome, Tim. Oh, yeah, you were watching on your app? Really cool, Tim. Thank you. All right, so it's, uh, oh, I really need to, I guess I need to go get Luke, but I'll get him in a second. All right, so we're going to try to go back to this room and, uh, hopefully we can find the room we were in. I think this is where we were. Oh, here we go. So it's not too hard to find. Okay, so we'll put this there and we'll put that there. All right, now we can interact with it. Oops. Okay, now it says return to Simba. Okay, Simba, what do you think? Uh, whoa, K-Wing, uh. what's that? The Dreamlight tre Tree Seeds. It's going to help us grow Dreamlight Tree. Well... That was your role, Simba. You watched over it in the past. We can bring it back. Really? That's great. Thanks for figuring it out. And I know the perfect spot to plant it, near the pond at the Sunlit Plateau. Follow me. Alright, so we're going to finish Seed of Memories quest with Simba. Man, Simba runs slow for a lion. Look at him just, like, moseying along. I thought lions were supposed to be fast. Here, it will be perfect. Enough sunlight close to the water. And there's the dreamlight tree seed so you can plant it. Alright, we're going to plant it right here. See ya. Alright, so let's actually put it... I'm actually going to move this tree here. And... I can't run from my past forever. Alright. I know you can't run from your past forever. Alright, so we're gonna place it right here. Remember, oh. even miracles take I, a I know. time. That's great. Thank you, fairy godmother. Okay. Alright, so let's plant the seed. Alright, so it says water the dreamlight tree seed. I did. Alright, so I guess we're just going to have to figure that out next time. Because I think it's going to take a while to grow. And I don't have any growth elixirs on me. So that sounds good to me. We're going to... Alright, so um, thanks everyone again for hanging out um, today on uh, with me for D Dreamlight Valley. And we'll see you guys in about uh, 10 minutes for the next stream, which will be Ace Attorney coming right up. Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you guys in just a minute for the next stream. God bless and happy gaming! See ya!